Welcome to the moving vlog. We are just about a week away from fully being moved out. So we are currently bringing most of my clothes to my parents' house to store. We already packed up a lot of stuff in here and brought to his parents. I'm probably gonna put all my boots in a storage unit since I don't really need that these next few months. Um, but yeah, everything is being emptied out here. All right, we just moved all that stuff to my parents. And then here is our house. I'll talk about what's going on in the next clip since I didn't really describe it yet. But this is like five minutes from our parents, so that's why it's convenient. This is a status. We're gonna do stone at the bottom and then cedar plank and hardy plank mix. Um, and it looks like they're putting the papers down, but I wanted, we wanted to come today because they're gonna be putting sheetrock um, inside. So we wanted to make sure we document what it looks like before the sheet rock. Trying to figure so, out how to walk. Right, so they put concrete down in the basement and garage rather recently, so that was exciting. And then another exciting thing they did recently was put the wood floors down. Um, and then eventually we're gonna stain them, which we have to figure out what color we're gonna do that. But I actually like this color. It's too late for that. <laughs> um, yeah, so this is the status. This will be a little like mud area bathroom. Oh, they put the pavers in the backyard. Oh, nice. So that looks good. Wow, it looks huge. Yeah. And let's see, so this will be the kitchen, oh, coffee amazing. bar, a pantry. This will be the dining room. This will be the living room, fireplace slash family room. We're going to put a dry bar right here. And stairs to the basement. Yes, yeah, so we have stairs to the basement here and then also to outside over there, which is nice. We're gonna stain the door. And then here's the foyer. I need to order a chandelier. And then she upstairs. So here is one kid's bedroom. What's really awesome about this house is all the ceilings are super high. Um another bedroom, which will probably be Matt's office, just because it's like kind of the smallest bedroom. Um, this will be the kids' bathroom, so just double sinks, bathtub, toilet, closet. This will be the laundry room up here. And then here is kids' room, which will start out being the nursery. So this one's a nice big room. This is the only one with a big walk-in closet. And then this is our master. I'm like, this is like my favorite part of the house. I feel like it's like the best layout that I would ever want in a master because it has like those nice vaulted ceilings. And I don't like a huge, huge master room. I like this size, just like a bed, dresser, TV is kind of all you need. And then there's like a nice little sitting area right here, um, which I might put my desk here, I think. And then here's our bathroom. So originally the builder had our shower here and tub here and the window was there but we actually swapped that so we moved the window gonna have a huge shower here and then a bathtub here and then our sinks here and that'll be the toilet and then yeah the wood floor is in the master so this is our closet so it's gonna be all here here it's like a nice little window and then all back here so for now we're just gonna do like builder grade wire racks all around and then probably eventually we'll like build out the closet we just won't have the money to build a custom closet right now so we're just gonna do wire racks for now but there's obviously a ton of space but with this little area of the closet i really want to put like a nice vanity here so that i could do like my hair and makeup here i never really had like a sit down vanity area and i feel like that'd be perfect because i wouldn't really want to do it in the bathroom because obviously that's just like would be so annoying and so in the way it would make so much more sense to just have like an area right here for me to do my hair and makeup um and then i'm telling that that's his closet and then this is my closet <laughs> so as you just saw we're building a house which is why we are moving to our parents home next week actually um basically the situation is that Last year we, you know, last year we were living in Jersey City and we wanted really badly to move out of Jersey City and live up here because we knew we wanted to settle up here for the rest of our lives because we're both from this area. So we were looking for our, we were looking for our forever home last year 
and just put like everything we have into our home and then just pay off our mortgage on this one home. But it's obviously a really hard time for real estate right now. There's just a bidding war on everything. So last year we didn't find the right opportunity who we definitely wanted to be out of Jersey City. So we settled on the condo that we're in now, um, which we love. We saw ourselves here for like probably three years. Uh, it's only two bedroom, which ends up getting pretty small when both of us work from home a lot. And then now we have a baby on the way, but we still were going to make it work with living here for three years. Uh, however, this year, like once um, I got pregnant and spring started, you know, spring was here and houses started coming on the market more. We're like, hey, let's just, you know, if there's open houses. Let's just go walk through them because why not? It's like always fun to walk through an open house, you know, see what's out there right now because um, we're living up here anyway. So it's really easy to just go to an open house down the road on a Sunday. And so that's what we ended up doing beginning of March. There was an open house for this home that's being built. And we're like, that's what we wanted last year. We wanted like a new construction home, um, but couldn't find the right opportunity. And we're like, you know, this one is already half built. The framework is up. It's just a matter of us coming in and making our finishes. And so we ended up really, really liking it. It hit all of our check boxes. It was in our price range, the town we wanted, which is the same town we're in now. And um, the builder is so nice and it's the perfect size house and the perfect size lot. So if you know anything about New Jersey, the taxes, especially in the county we're in, are insane. So you don't want too big of a home and you don't want too much land because of taxes and also obviously maintenance of the land and the home. So yeah, and then it was four bedroom. Um, the basement is un gonna be unfinished which we prefer to keep the taxes on it low and the cost of it low right now. And then we'll just finish it in like 10 years when we have the money to finish it, um, which we don't really need the basement right now anyways. We'll probably need it more like as the kids grow up. Um, yeah, so just hit all our check boxes. But the situation was that, you know, we bought our condo like 10 months ago or whatever. So, you know, you don't really want to, it doesn't really, it's not really the best look to buy something and then sell it less than a year later. Um, it might be harder to sell it. So that was the only thing we we're nervous of, but it ended up being no issue at all. Um, the realtor that we used for the new house, he also listed our condo so fast, like within a week, he posted it open house that weekend. And then we found a great buyer um, and we close on May 5th. And today is April, like the last week of April. So we that means we have to be out like the first week of May because obviously May 5th is closing. Everything needs to be done and clean. So um, yeah, we need to be out. So luckily it's, it hasn't been too hard moving things out because like unlike Jersey City, we had an elevator and everything. But this, we're right down the road from our parents. So the last month we've just been moving stuff to our parents' house. And then next, next week we have a pod coming and that will... So that will store all of our furniture in because obviously we can't like fit that at our parents' house. And then the pod, you know, the pod will store it, you know, at their pod storage unit, wherever that is. And then when we're ready to move into our new house, they'll bring the pod to our new house. So that worked out. And our new house should be ready in July. So we'll only really be living at our parents for about three months. And it should go by super fast because there's always something to do with the house. Like we met with so many vendors already for the tile, the kitchen, the plumbing, and all that. So things are moving really fast. Um, and like I said in the clip before, um, you know, the house is going to have sheetrock put in at the end of this week. So like I said, from there, it's really just, you know, all the finishes come together. Um, I mean, that's the situation. I'll be 18 weeks tomorrow. So I feel like this is just gonna make Pregnancy also fly by, which is good because I'm just like sitting around doing nothing most of the time. But I haven't vlogged any of this experience yet because it's actually kind of weird to vlog because you're the meetings with vendors, like you're just sitting there in a meeting. And I'm not gonna like vlog us talking about the kitchen design and like what plumbing fixtures and stuff. If anything, like it makes more sense to me being like, I keep taking pictures of like, you know, the finishes that we're picking out. Cause that makes more sense so that I can have, like, I can visualize with pictures, um, versus videos. It's hard, hard to take a video when you're actually at the vendors. So I guess a lot of what I'll be vlogging is just us moving. And then like 
just the progress of the house itself versus actually meeting with the vendors. But I don't know, we'll see. I'm reading with tile tomorrow to finalize tile. So we'll see about that. That's actually been a little bit hard to find pictures of like what to do with the master shower. Cause you don't, I don't know, it's hard. Cause grout gets really dirty too. So we're trying to keep that in mind. <laughs> but that is the update for now. Um, and then this will just be a moving and building vlog. Okay, it's now like 10 days later. It is Wednesday, May 3rd, and we are officially going to move fully out of the condo. We've actually been living at our parents the last two nights just because we just like wanted to move as much as possible. And also the internet and cable were supposed to be cut on May 1st. Um, and we uh, and we worked from home, so we've just been living here. Paisley's here in her new bed. This is a main reason why we can't He's living at his parents, I'm living at mine, is because our bed's a lot smaller. So like my pregnancy pillow takes up that whole bed right now. <laughs> but yeah, so the pod came yesterday. So we both took off of work today so that we can move all of our furniture into the pod because that's going to be in storage the next like two to three months. And then we're supposed to close on Friday, but something like weird happened with the appraisal. Like the appraiser just was not, like didn't really complete the appraisal which is weird so the buyer is getting a new person to do the appraisal so I think we're going to close next Friday which is not really a big deal because you know we're at our parents so it didn't really affect us that much but yeah we're going to go over there and fully clean out the condo. Alright here is our pod. Plenty of space. And here's the current status. All that furniture in the bed. I'm obviously not moving any of the furniture because I'm pregnant, so I am going to be packing up what's left in here, it's just like our plates and our cups, and then coffee mugs here. But now I need to find a box. So this is our bedroom right now. This is going in storage, and of course Matt cleaned out his drawers. But I have so many clothes I could not take home, so let's stay here and same with this. These two are going in storage. And this is like literally all of my workout clothes. But like I don't fit in them right now anyways, so. I have way too many clothes. It's, this is disgusting. It's okay. It's even more about having an angle. All right, this is the fun part. <laughs> all right, three, two, one. Mm. Nope, we're good. I just got that door painted. Perfect. Nice work, Andrew. Uh, that couldn't have been easier. Good. All right. The door looks fine. <laughs> <laughs> so let's get this vertical again. So meanwhile, I did my job, packed all the cups and plates and everything. So all this is empty, but now I have no more boxes left. And I still have the square, so I have no idea what to do with that. All right, it's now almost one and everything is cleared out. Somehow the pod is completely full. When I saw it this morning, I thought that we were not even gonna like fill it, it's so big, but it's crazy how much stuff we have. And the craziest part is that most of our stuff is at our parents, so that's wild. But there's still like, this is all like cleaning detergent stuff. Um, and then like some fragile plates and stuff. So um, everything's pretty much out of the cabinets. It's just what you see here. So we need to just get more boxes and do that. Um, and his mom is gonna clean tomorrow, come tomorrow to clean. So we'll be here again tomorrow. But yeah, otherwise everything else is out. So it's pretty much just this stuff. And there's not even any rush for us to be done tomorrow because I don't think we'll be able to close on Friday anymore because of the appraisal. It'll probably be like another week. So not really any rush for that stuff anyways. Uh, but now I'm gonna relax. <laughs> okay, it's now a few days later. It is Saturday and I never really went back to the condo since last time. And I said there's a few things left for us to get. So we're finally gonna do that today. So today is probably our last time at the condo because like I said, our closing out's late till next week and we just won't have any time next week to get this stuff. So today on Saturday, 
We have time to just get every last thing in the condo. So yeah, I just want to document our last time there today. All right, so here it is, all empty. So like I said, the only thing left are basically this stuff from the kitchen and just like the silverware. So this is basically just the rest to pack up. Um, but we realized they actually cut the power and all electricity so like we can even open the garage door. But luckily his mom had a key or else we don't know what we would do. Um, and then also randomly I got this package, this brand of gluten-free snacks from the ground up. So good thing I came by and grabbed that. But yeah, we're just gonna move this out now. That's pretty much it. All right. done it actually was really fast we only took like about 30 minutes mom. yeah this would have been all day project no, yeah mom. his mom like came in and cleaned a lot that is it okay it's now a little bit later it is friday may 12th and i can officially close out this vlog because we officially closed today on our condo so that is done we get paid on monday which as you can imagine, we really need every last penny of to pay for our new house. The timing actually worked out really well where we could move to our parents for a few months and kind of just, um, you know, get like our money and stuff together, save a little bit more before moving right into our new house, which will obviously have a bigger mortgage in our condo. So that feels really good. Um, I'm going to continue blogging just the process of the house and everything like that. Um, but I wanted to get a vlog up just to show moving out of our condo and the situation on what's going on with that. So stay tuned.